Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. This video will focus on creating the first block in the F is for Fall wall quilt. It will have an F along with a fall leaf. We're going to start by creating the text. And to do so, I'm going to use the stitching tab, which is the green button. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to uh, select Stitching, New Design, and Embroidery Design. Now I want to use the text tool, so I'm going to click, it on, click on it, and then you'll notice that there is a T with a little pencil on it, and I am going to first of all uh, find a font, and I spent some time looking earlier and decided on this um, Harrington font. And so I'm going to select that. I'm going to put the approximate size in millimeters. Um, I'm going to keep that at 50. I'm not really going to use this here, but I'm going to take each of the uh, pieces and bring them into a subsequent block. And so I'm going to use my shift key and I'm going to drag um, a box the approximate size that I want to create. And so then I'm going to click in the box and I am going to type in all caps FALL. and I can see that I actually have too big of font so I'm going to bring this down to um, 30 and I'm going to try that again because I do want to fit the entire phrase in here and now I can click on my pick tool if you look at my block here it's still all one um, one item, but there is a button called Convert to Patch, and so when I click on it, I now have four separate um, letters that can be used and even can be copied over to Patch Draw. So let's say I wanted to take all of these, I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to do a Control C and if I go to the work on block tab and do a block new block patch draw block now I can do a control V oh I have to go to the applique tab do a control V and my fall letters are now in my patch draw and I could use them for uh, applique um, anything that I really wanted um, to do in in EQ. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the sketchbook as well. Now I'm going to go back to the stitching tab and I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to, to do stitching, new design, embroidery, and I don't really need to save this at this point so I'm going to say no to that and I am going to find a leaf uh, in the library that I can use for this block. So I'm going to go to libraries, block library, um, I'm going to search by note card and I'm going to put in leaf and I am going to put 200 down just to make sure that I get to the applique ones and hopefully that number is big enough and I like uh, this one right here called the folk art leaf and that is actually in the motifs in the leaves um, part of the library but I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my sketchbook and it says I already have it so I'll click OK and click close now I'm going to go to my sketchbook and I'm going to go to my blocks and I'm going to go to my motifs and I am going to find that leaf motif and I'm going to edit it. 
and I am going to select this. So I'm going to use the pick tool, do a control A to select all. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go back to the work on stitching tab and I'm going to do a control V or just the paste here. Now this block is a little bit too big, so I'm going to right click, I'm going to resize, and I'm going to start with uh, maybe 70%. And a lot of times I play with this until I get something that I like. Um, I also want to rotate it, so I'm going to use the control key and I'm going to click on the crosshairs in the center of this. And notice that the rotate buttons now show along the outside of the block. And I can turn this, oops, I overturned it. This is reacting slowly, but it's because of my filming software. So I'm going to put that in place. I'm going to go to my sketchbook and go to the Blocks tab. I will go to the Fall block and edit that. And I'm going to go to the Applique tab, use the Pick tool, pick up the F, do a Control C, and go back to the Stitching tab and do a Paste. And this one I'm going to right click resize and I think I'm going to use 250 percent for that and click OK and I can move that in place. When I go to my stitch tab one of the things I'm not liking is sort of this doubled over steel stitch right there and I thought this might be better just to have a single uh, row that's filled rather than sort of that double over. So I'm going back to my artwork tab and select the Bezier curve. I'll start by drawing a curve. I need to delete the original patch and move the new curve in place. I'll select the shape tool and then select the handles to adjust the arc. Actually, move the shape, I'm going to use the pick tool. Once I've completed that, now I'm going to go back to the stitch tab. So I'm going to first of all use the set thread tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color um, all of the stitches. And I'm going to um, use the same color for the F, both the outside and the inside. And for the leaf, I'm going to use um, a dark gold for the outside and for this stitch, and then a lighter gold or yellow for the fill. Now, I didn't really like the thickness of that steel stitch, so I am going to go ahead and set use the set edge stitch, and I'm going to adjust the width, and I'm going to um, adjust it to 2.5, so I'm going to make sure my steel stitch is 2.5. I'm going to click on uh, that shape, and for um, this center one here, I'm going to actually bring it down even farther. I'm going to try one inch because I just want a narrow spine. So I like that. And uh, around the F, I think I'm going to try 1.5 for that. Um, so I can see just a little bit more of uh, the background uh, stitching as well. So once I have uh, the stitches the way I like them, so once I've got something I like, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the sketchbook. And then I am going to go ahead and select Stitching, and I am going to export my stitching file. And I'm going to put that in the embroidery folder, and I'm going to call it F Leaf and I will select Save. 
and it's telling me I can um, reduce the thread changes by sorting colors and that's actually I'm glad it wants me to do that so I'm gonna actually say yes to that and it did remind me that it probably would make sense to simulate the sewing so I can see how things are going to st stitch out. And so I am going to turn up the speed a bit and I am going to, to play the sewing. And you can see um, the underlay is stitching first. and then the fill stitch and then um, everything associated with F and then it's going back and doing uh, the steel stitch on the um, on the leaf and I'm just going to finish coloring um, the the layout and I'm going to go to layer 3 and I am going to use the Add Embellishment tool. And I will select the block and drag it on layer 3. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to center my block on the first, or I'm going to center my applique and go ahead and add it to the sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. We'll, we will be covering additional blocks in the next few weeks.